close this up. That's perfect. Okay. Let's do this. Hey y'all, it's me, Cinnamon. And today I decided I'm going to do a cooking day. It's not exciting. Okay, so today I'm going to be making pumpkin pie. So first we need to get our ingredients ready. Here are my ingredients. Ta-da! See, I have a pumpkin, some batter, the dough. The batter is for the crust of the pie. We want that to be nice. So first we need to cut these pumpkins, make sure they're all mushed. The thing is, pumpkin pie isn't the greatest when you have chunks of pumpkin in there, so we need to make sure they're all smushed down. Like this. You see? Now we need to roll out the dough. That is going to be our crust. So we're gonna take the rolling pin and go back and forth in nice motions. You see this? Now we are going to make the dough into the pie formation and put the filling in. So watch as I do this. See how I'm intricately putting the pumpkin pie filling in there? Now don't let this fool you. You see the braiding on top, but that doesn't really stay there. No, no. That's going to be gone soon. So now we leave it in there to bake. Now, while we are waiting for that to bake, we can take a quick meal and make some hot cocoa. Now, go in your fridge, look for the ingredients. Now, you will need your hot cocoa powder, some milk, and marshmallows, and of course, a mug. Well, and you can't forget the microwave, too. So now you're going to put it in the microwave. i say a minute or two would be good for that. You don't want to undercook it, but at the same time, you don't want to overcook it. So now we wait for those two to get done. We can also, if you want... You can make a cappuccino while you're waiting. Now I have a coffee machine, which makes it easier for me. So that's what I use. Oh look, the hot chocolate's done. See, look how nice melted it is. That wasn't quite on top, there we go. Now we're waiting for the pie to settle. Oh yes, it's looking very good. Come, bring the camera closer. Now you're going to see here how the pie is warming up. Zoom in, please. Thank you. Now isn't that a wonderful pie? Mm-hmm. Now, if you're waiting, you can make a snack. Oh! Never mind, it's done. Let's look at this beautiful pumpkin pie. What do you think? Doesn't that look delicious? That looks phenomenal. Now, come with me as I put it on the counter to be served. Look how amazing that looks. So let me cut you a slice. Give me a slice as I set up the table. And I'll take the cappuccino. And you can have the hot cocoa. I'm almost done setting up. The camera can come soon. Okay, the camera can come now. Unless you want to get a close up visual of the pumpkin pie again. Very nice. Now, come join me. 
Now, how does the pumpkin pie taste? Now, be honest. <laughs> What do you think? Is it a good one? Thumbs up? Hopefully you like it. How's the hot cocoa I made? Pretty good, right? If you want cappuccino, I can make you one. Mm. You like your hot cocoa more? Okay. That's cool. Now, come with me as we make our next dish. What are you waiting for? So next, I was thinking, since Thanksgiving is coming soon, we would make a turkey. Now, I know it doesn't look very appetizing yet, but it's going to get there. So first, we need to cut it. We need to cut these vegetables so we have a nice array of them around the turkey. When the turkey cooks, these are we cooking with it, and hopefully, these vegetables juices will go around them. So, come with me as I place it into the oven. And now we wait. Or oh, wait, I can show you some things you can eat with it. Well. <laughs> Not eat, but like, I mean that you can have as a drink. So let me go through what could be some nice drinks. Let me just finish this cappuccino real quick. Can't let it go to waste. Let me put this pumpkin pie away too. Let's see. What would be some good drinks to have? Hmm, let's see. What would you like for Thanksgiving? Ah, uh, one drink you may have is iced tea. I find iced tea is well known as a sophisticated drink. And I find most people have it as an option for Thanksgiving. Now, here's one that is similar to it, that is also just as popular, and that is lemonade. I will say that making lemonade is cheaper than the sweet tea. It is cheaper by a dollar. Now, the presentation is the same, but the sweet tea has added sugar. That's where the extra dollar comes in. Because lemonade isn't always sweet. Now... So you have a child during Thanksgiving. You could give them milk. Milk is a dollar. Oh, and our turkey is done. Well, would you look at that? Let's see. Now the turkey's done baking. Follow me as I set it out on the dish. Hmm, let's see. Where's the open space here? Now, I'll just ignore the drinks. I wasn't able to move them yet. Let's see. We're almost done garnishing. Just adding the finishing touches, making sure that everything is nice and even, making sure that each piece of vegetable is evenly spread out. Now, doesn't that look like a delicious turkey? Here, let me cut you a piece. Here, 
You can have the leg. How good is a turkey, would you rate it? On a scale of 1 to 10. Awesome. And remember, if you're role playing in your role play house, you could give these three drinks to go with it. <laughs> these three drinks are perfect role play drinks, and I see them most commonly used in the family household role plays. I see the sweet tea, though, more used in the sophisticated role plays. I don't know why, but I see that's the trend that's heading. Store the turkey in for next time. Now, let's make another sweet dish. Pumpkin cupcakes. But real quick, I'll be right back as I clean the dishes. Okay, and we're back. Ready to make some pumpkin cupcakes. Here are the ingredients you will need. You'll need flour, milk, sugar, butter, and a mixer. But a regular mixer with like the hand mixer, that will work too. You don't need a stand mixer for this one. So as we add all the ingredients and mix them, We'll put them in the trays so they're all set to go. Now follow me as I go to the oven. Now we want to put this in for 30 minutes. And while that sets, I am going to show you how I would make a beverage. Now, since this is dessert, I know a lot of people don't do this and put dessert on dessert, but say for a little bit more extra like me, you might want to do a soda float. For this, you just need a can of Bloxy Cola and some vanilla ice cream. So we come together and we mix it. You're gonna take a scoop of this, a dash of that, also add some vanilla extract if you want something extra. And voila, you have this. Now this one can be yours. And I'll go make myself my own. Let me make myself another one. There we go. How is it? Pretty good, right? Yeah, I always like something sweet before I have my finisher. <laughs> That's why I call it the dessert. Well, oh, it, it's because, like, well, <laughs> it's because it finishes the meal. I know it's a little bit quirky, but yeah. I can take the glass for you. If you're done. Okay, let me dispose of it. Now watch those muffins bake. It's gonna look delicious when they're done. And they're done! Let's see how beautiful these muffins are. Look at that, ready to eat as soon as they come out of the oven. Look how great those are. Look how pretty they are too. With the fall colors. The perfect fall treat. Now remember to make your fall treats quick before fall goes. Because soon it will be the Christmas treats. Thank you all for coming. And see you all next time.